Okay. Can you guys hear me all right now? I don't have a way to see your chat at the moment. So tell me. Oh, yeah, turn the heat off. Sorry, the heat's kicking on. Jeez, um, it's like the first time we've ever done this. Guess what? It is the first time we've ever done this. All right. We've got a couple things we're going to go over tonight. We have some questions uh, to answer that you guys sent in. Probably going to give you a little bit of a shop tour. Um, we got a couple things to give away here. We got some cool ridge stuff. Uh, we got some. We got a T-shirt from KNL Supply. We got an apron. We got some ribbed shirts. We got a pen, wallets, keychain. Uh, we got some stickers. We got all sorts of stuff. We're gonna we're gonna share with you guys tonight. Um, yeah. So where do we get started? Where do we get started? Give me a second here. To, Pull this up, maybe I can, um, so I can see your comments. Can I see comments? Give me a second, all right. Here we go, awesome, thank you. We got a super chat already, man. Really, really appreciate it. So this is kind of a recap of 2023. We started this channel in June, that's six months ago, and uh, you guys, the audience, have been just phenomenal for us, and uh, it's been a lot of fun engaging with the community and uh, reading all the emails that you guys send and all the comments and all that. It has been a fantastic six months, and we thank you for that so, so much. Uh, we actually just crossed the 200,000 subscriber mark, which just blows my mind. Um, that is really, really cool. Um, and that's all you guys. So thank you for watching. Thank you for, you know, coming along and, and making us part of your uh, weekly routine. Um, appreciate it. Anyway, um, yeah, let's see what we got going on here. There were some questions we put, uh, I'm gonna just start running down through the questions that were asked here over the last uh, few days on community. And we're gonna, we're gonna, those are gonna kind of lead into some other things that we got going on here. And uh, we're gonna have a good time for the next couple of hours that now hopefully sounds working and everything's going well. Um, so let's start here with the other, uh, let's start here with some questions. We'll do a little Q&A and it's gonna lead to walking around the shop here and looking at some stuff um, as we go. So, Aside from yourself, there seems to be a frequent smoke show at the shop. What kind of ventilation setup, if any, do you have? I go with the if any setup. Um, I turn on the ceiling fans and I open up a door when I need to, or I'm generally pretty bad at it. Either Dan or my wife will come in and open up the door so I don't die. Um, you should look at a CBX. Uh, yeah, I just did the Goldwing. Water buffaloes are hard to find. Um, what I'm doing, guys, is I'm reading down through the community list of questions. Um, uh, let's see here. If I had to eliminate one bike brand from the existence, which one? Cannondale. Cannondale should have never made motorcycles. And I can say that confidently because I will offend no one by saying Cannondale should have never made motorcycles. Uh, just wanted to say thank you for providing me the motivation to work on my Buell. Yeah, man, that's what we're here for. That's, that's pretty much what this whole channel is. Give you guys the motivation to go out and find a project or uh, maybe have one that's already sitting in your garage. You know, just get out there and start, figure it out. Uh, do dirt bikes really need rebuilt as often as people say they ought to? No, probably not. I mean, my last bike, I had 300 hours on that top end. Uh, and I never touched it, and I did that kind of on purpose to see how far it would go. Um, manuals will say a lot of times the two-stroke stuff, 50 hours or whatever it is. Nah, man. I'd run it until it starts hard. Then I'd put rings in it and do it all again. Um, have I ridden dual sports? Yeah, I've, I've ridden dual sports. I've had some Honda XRs. Uh, I didn't have a DR650, but I had a DRZ400. It's a fun bike. 650s are fun too, and they're all good. Um, what would you consider doing a resurrection on a big Japanese cruiser like a Kawasaki Vulcan or Royal Star? 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it out there, but they're just kind of really common bikes. There's nothing too fancy about them. And some of those, if you get in the, depending on what kind of engine work, you, you gotta actually pull the motor. That's more work than I feel like doing, if I'm being completely honest. Have you ever ridden a Kawasaki ZRX? No, I haven't. Uh, but when I was in school, a guy had one. It was really, really awesome. And it is definitely on my list of bikes that I wanna ride. And probably on the short list of bikes, I'd like to own one day. Um, let's see here. How much coffee do you drink in a day? I Probably too much, actually. I just made another one. Um, if I had to choose one three-wheeler for life, boy, I haven't been a three-wheeler guy since the 80s. 250R, I guess. That would be a good one. I'd probably go Yamaha, though. Just try motor. Try motor, uh, just because I'm a Yamaha guy. Uh, can you talk about basic tools to begin working on bikes with, especially old ones? That's a fantastic question. Um, yes, yes. I can talk about tools you need to start working on bikes. Um, we could do, should we do a little bit of a toolbox tour along with that? Yes, let's do that. Come here, come here. Hang on a sec. Let's see if this works. Can you still hear Craig? Craig could yeah, hello, hello. We're testing our mics again. Is that working? Do we have sound? Somebody that said sounds great. I'm just gonna, okay, everyone, people are saying yes. All right, I think All right. are we good? Uh, one thing we did tonight, uh, it actually started at seven o'clock and it's gonna run until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, all of our, I shouldn't say all of our, our one shirt that we have on our website, which is, what is our website? Thebeardedmechanic.shop. Yeah. I believe thebeardedmechanic.shop. Um, the shirts are free shipping until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. So we got that going on. And what we're going to do with some of these giveaways, because giveaways are hard to do. Um, I think some of this, this ridge stuff here, what we're going to do is put it in with some shirt orders. If any of you guys want to order some shirts tonight, it will be free shipping. And I'm going to throw this stuff in just some random orders. Uh, and then we'll figure out a way to give out some of these other t-shirts. And this is a backpack. Uh, but we'll work on that. So as orders start coming in for the shirts, don't forget it is free shipping. And I will throw in some ridge stuff uh, in some random orders. So that's a thing. Toolbox tool. Tour, toolbox tour. So what kind of tools do you start working to start working on bikes? I imagine you're gonna probably start working on, on Japanese bikes or whatever. If you're working on Harley, just replace everything I say that's metric with standard and you should be good. So what I do, I kind of keep my big stuff up top here. This is my socket drawer. I don't, I, this is, this is the toolbox I use every day. I have other boxes with stuff in, but this is my kind of necessity go-to box. So. Uh, real quick, it's not USA only. Just, just to clarify. What's that? For the, the free shipping. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Somebody said USA only probably. No, no, no. So we're throwing everybody a bone that is outside of the US because honestly, you guys get the shaft all the time when we do stuff like this, right? Um, so if you're outside the US until tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., you're going to get free shipping. As well as if you're inside the US, you get free shipping. Everybody gets free shipping. Yeah. And okay, back to the toolbox. So. I keep a really small set of sockets handy. 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 17. Those are the basic sockets you need. I also keep Allen sockets handy. Uh, and all of this is 3 8 drive. I don't like mixing and matching half and quarters and 3 8 Honestly, I use 3 8 drive stuff for 99% of the, the, the time. It's all 3 8 drive. Every once in a while, you know, you got to pull out a quarter to get somewhere tight or a half inch to get off a tight bolt. But 99% of the time, 3 8 drive tools. 
Uh, that's the socket set. Again, that's 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 17, and a row of Allens. If you're going standard set and you're working on Harleys, here's a little trick for you. 12.10 uh, millimeter socket, and that takes off your uh, brake rotor bolts on Harleys. So you wanna add one of those. But then it's a simple 3 8 7 16 half inch, 9 16 5 8 What comes after 5 8 11 16 yep, 3 quarter, and then again with Allen's. Um, that's pretty much my bread and butter. One thing I would also recommend uh, if you're just starting out, I really like wobble extensions. So a three inch and a six inch wobble extension and also a good set of Motion Pro spark plug sockets are huge. Um, other than that, other than that, get yourself a good screwdriver. Uh, if you're working on, again, um, metric stuff or whatever, a good JIS screwdriver. This one here is the Vessel Impact Driver. So when you hit this with a hammer, it'll actually turn the tip a little bit. Uh, great for on carburetor float, float bowls, and uh, master cylinder screws. Um, but yeah, you got to get yourself a, a set of JIS screwdrivers. If you don't have something like this, um, I highly recommend you get yourself a, an impact driver like that. Uh, other than that... You have your set of assorted pliers, flush cut nippers for uh, zip ties. That's a must, you gotta have flush cuts. And then duckbill pliers, these are my favorites. I use these pliers all the time for about everything. Um, as far as necessities, you know, I would say for me, it's duckbill pliers, safety wire pliers, flush cuts. Um, I almost think my long reach pliers are a necessity too. I, I do a lot with these. Um, so that's, that's that. And then in here's my wrench drawer. Just get your set of, uh, get yourself a set of wrenches and you're fine. Um, you know, if you're just starting out and a good set of Allen wrenches, other than that, it's just some little, you know, of course you're going to need a hammer. Everybody needs a hammer. Uh, here's a soft hammer. Use that quite a bit. Here's a big hammer. I use that one when the other hammers don't work. Uh, and then some odds and ends, punches and chisels. Um, here's a good one. Let me find it. This is what they call a Chapman tool, and these are uh, really useful, and I would have one of these in my toolbox all the time. Uh, and what this does is this allows you to put a bit in, it takes just quarter drive bits, and you have yourself a little ratchet that you can get in pretty much anywhere with. Um, definitely a, a good, I, I think it's a necessity for having in your toolbox. Um, handles it's kind of a motorcycle mechanics thing but I'm partial to T handles as well not a necessity uh, but when you can get yourself a good set of T handles and they're really nice to use um, other necessities how do you keep your tools clean genuine I, question th that is a great question I just wipe them off before I put them away Absolutely, you got to have JIS screwdrivers. Um, yeah, I just wipe my tools off before I throw them or before I put them away. Um, I don't spray them with cleaner or anything like that because actually I want some of that oil on them to help them uh, prevent them from rusting and you know that sort of stuff. The other thing that's really important too, if you're getting into the game, the mechanic game, and you're working on multiple cylinder bikes, is carb sinks. Um, you you want a carb sink. I, I mean, there's a whole list of reasons why I can give you, but 
get yourself a set of carb sinks. That'll save you a bunch of time and you can really finish your job right. I, 20 some years ago, I started with the mercury sticks and they were fun until they weren't. So I got myself a set of gauges to do carb sinks. Uh, those work great for the last probably 10, 15 years. Uh, now I just got myself, I like this thing. I just got myself a digi sink and this is the digital version of the gauges. And this one here in particular can do up to a six cylinder and it's all digital and it's super easy to use and I love it. So if you're just starting out, you can definitely get away with a set of mercury sticks or a set of gauges like this. They've come down a lot in price. And then when you're ready, get yourself something like this or just go hog wild right away and get yourself a digi sink. Um, I mean, that's the basics. You really don't need a lot, you know, to get yourself to get yourself going. Three eighths drive wrenches and ratchets, a set of wrenches, some Allen wrenches, uh, JIS screwdrivers or a good set of screwdrivers, hammers, uh, carb sink. You probably don't need to worry about tire tools and stuff right away if you're getting started. Um, that's my opinion. What else do we got? Any other questions on the chat? It's been your longest ride. There's an individual that was concerned about going on a two and a half hour ride. What were they concerned about? Missing yeah. lunch. <laughs> There's nothing to be concerned about. My longest ride. Okay, this is going to tie into another question that's been popping up in uh, my favorite bike, uh, the Kawasaki Concourse, and people ask me why that's my favorite bike. The reason that's been my favorite bike for the last number of years is because I actually I don't get out to ride a whole lot anymore, uh, especially street bikes. So I would get out for like one big ride a year, and I would go with a buddy, and we would do an iron butt. And we would do it in 24 to 30 hours, depending on what we were doing. And we'd burn off a quick 1,300 miles. And the Concourse was a fantastic bike for that. Um, all my long distance riding has been on a Concourse like that. But any bike that I could do 13, 1,400 miles on in 30 hours and still walk when I'm done, yeah. And that's just a, it's just a great bike. It's really comfortable and it, uh, you know, you can cruise on the highway at a buck five and it's like it's not even doing anything. Um, so yeah, I guess my longest ride was just over 13 hours, just under 13 hours. No, just under 30 hours. Uh, and we did uh, just under 1400 miles. That was a long winded answer to your question. Um, what else do we got here? Uh, somebody was asking about specialty tools. I can go over some specialty tool stuff there and, uh, in a little bit. Let me see if we have any other questions here. Okay. We got to pull up. What is the job you dread most when it comes through your shop? the easy ones because they're never easy any oddball jobs that cause you the most grief yeah the easy ones whenever you think it's going to be easy you know you're just a broken bolt away from it being eight hours too long uh what else do we got here i just wanted to say thanks for stopping to doing will it run and get at home videos I don't know if I did. Those are kind of my bread and butter. I, did, I don't think I stopped doing them. Workshop content is good quality. Awesome, thank you, man. Like, that's great. That is great. Uh, maybe for it would be fine, but I hate to see him feeding 15 years of crud into four carbs on a multi-cylinder bike just for views. I'm sure he hates it too. And sometimes you got to do what you got to do. It's not for views. I like to get bikes running and sometimes I'm in a time crunch and that's why I do some stuff. 
Uh, will you please do a video on an electric e-bike? Probably not. I'm sorry. Um, why is the Concourse your favorite bike? Yeah, that's the reason why I already answered that one. When can we see Dan on a dirt bike? I don't know. I got to check his life insurance policy before I can answer that. Um, in addition, did you ever run any YZ Yamaha dirt bikes? Because they seemed hot back in the 70s. All my friends had them. Yeah, I ran some YZs. One, uh, uh, I, I run my buddy's uh, 89 YZ250 sometimes and some hair scrambles. Uh, the older from the 70 YZs? No, I, I haven't. Some DTs and some uh, MXs, but um, I haven't spent any time on the older YZ. I want to know when we can see the second video of the 79 Yamaha dirt bike. I got news for you. That video is coming out here very soon. You might have noticed it sitting behind me. So I could give you a quick tour of that if somebody wants to see the, uh, the IT75. Do my kids ride with me? Yes, I do take my kids riding. We don't go far. We stay around here. Um, and it is probably one of my most favorite things in the world to do is, is watch them ride and follow them around the fields. And, uh, um, yeah, it's a blast. Um, Everyone's saying they want to see it. They want to see the IT? Yeah. Let's show them. I'm excited. Here we got the frame. Look how fast that is. Here we got the frame. Here we got some... Painted bits, some clean. We got the the brakes. That's the pivot for the swing arm. Engine's just about ready to go back in. Freshly rebuilt. I got to put the uh, rubbers back in the fins and do a little a little of that yet. But that's ready to go in. New bearings on the uh, on the uh, steering clamp on the triple tree there. I got to put new bearings on. Swing arm. I got to do bushings. Sleeves and bushings there, that's easy. The forks are done, they're ready to go on. And then over here, we have some little bits and pieces. I think I even have something in my toaster oven yet. Oh, I can't see that. And then the rest of it is sitting here. We have a ton of new parts to throw on this thing. We got new bars, a new headlight. We got new braking clutch levers. We have all sorts of bearings and fork covers and chain and sprockets and plastics. It's going to be like a new bike when we're done. So that is, that's coming. That's, uh, man, that turned out to be a lot of work. Um, I guess really no more work than normal, but uh, finding the time to do it has been tough. Here coming into the holidays but right after new year that video is coming out in january so stick tight it's coming what else do we have uh any advice for a touring bike for shorter riders open it in the super chat also from broner i don't know offhand that's a tough question. You're probably going to end up getting a custom seat and probably even lowering the bike if you're if you're too short. Um, but like, I mean, going back to the concourse, I don't think they're overly tall. Um, gold wings aren't that tall. I don't, know. I, I don't know. I don't know off the top of my head, but I'd say plan on getting a, a custom seat made from Corbin or somebody and probably lowering links. Very common mods for shorter guys. Any other questions there, Dan? Um, what do you think about Yamaha TW200s? Absolutely love them. Where can you get a safety approved beanie? Pretty much anywhere that sells beanies. else do we got Jenny's garage yeah I've watched Jenny's garage already am I going to start my own dealership mm, no probably not um, I'm just not in the buying and selling game that's not really my thing 
uh, if anything, maybe we would reopen the shop and, and have a shop again. But as far as dealership goes for, for selling and stuff, no, nah, I, don't, I don't foresee that in our future. Any other questions there? I've, I've got through those pretty well. What you seeing, Dan? Someone else made a super chat just to say that uh, Mike doesn't seem to be loud enough. Yeah, sorry about the uh, sound issues there, everybody. We got we got new mics, and it's our kind of our first live, um, you know. So yeah, figure it out. Volume is fine. Good, 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 good. Do some flips. I can do a flip. Okay, let's give a couple things away. So we made up an email account. Here's how we're gonna give some stuff away because giveaways are tricky and we never really know the best way or the easiest way or the right way to do it. So this is how we're gonna do it. We created an email address, Dan. Let's show them. Come to our presentation area of the shop, tbmgiveaways at gmail.com, tbmgiveaways at gmail.com. If you want to send an email to tbmgiveaways at gmail.com and you can make it say whatever you want. What we're going to do is we're going to go through those emails and we're just going to kind of pick emails. And what we're going to do is, I don't know how we're going to do this. I guess send your name and address. Well, if we if you win. <laughs> yeah, if we if we why email we, you back. Why don't we tell them what what to send in the subject line? Okay. What should the subject subject well, line say? Well, surprise. I want to win. Yeah, <laughs> I want to win. What do you? I like that. Okay. What, do you, what are we gonna? Okay. So these are gonna go in with the merch. We have. What should we give away first? Let's give away this. This is a blue XL size K&L Supply t-shirt. K&L Supply makes motorcycle, um, they're mainly, uh, their, their biggest thing is like shop equipment and, and uh, specialty tools and stuff. This lift table, this is K&L Supply. My tire machine is K&L Supply. That bike jack is K&L Supply, they make my opinion, hands down, the best motorcycle shop equipment um, that you can buy. Uh, so anyway, they gave me a t-shirt to give away to you guys. So we're going to go through some, we're going to go through a uh, couple of emails here in a minute. And somebody's going to win an XL k &L shirt. Let's start with that. Dan, show them the. What, what are they sending? I want to win. Subject, I want to win K and L shirt. Okay. Look at that. Giving stuff away already. Oh, there's a super chat here. I want to make sure. Dan, do you want to work? Hmm. Dan, can you help? I, I have to. I need to pull up the emails from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I you work, you work. Com, uh, See if any comments stick out. You pay attention to some of the super chats and stuff. We'll put Marsh on the on the camera um, and the last super chat is from Matthew Lyon. What bikes do you have in the shop? Is that a CBR I saw in the background? Oh, that's a FJ. I kind of took some bikes out of the shop to make room to clean up for tonight. Uh, generally, here in the shop, I have my dirt bike and I have the kids' dirt bikes. Um, I try not to have anything else in here, although that never works. It's always full of other stuff. Um, but yeah, we have the FJ. This is an 87 Yamaha FJ 1200. Uh, we just pulled this bike out of a garage in Maryland. It was sitting for like 20 years. Um, 
had to clean the tank and do some stuff, but we got it to fire up and run good. A fun bike. It's got Kirker exhaust on it, full system actually. Um, has the big lower fairing. Normally these have the, the small one. Actually, I do have the small one too, I got with it. Um, so that's really cool. You don't see this piece very often. That was an aftermarket piece for these bikes. Um, so yeah, that one's here in the shop yet. And then of course, my trusty old YZX. Um, I love this bike. This is a good bike. It's not quite a 300. I do miss my 300, but this is still a fun bike. Um, so yeah, and then like I said, I keep the kids dirt bikes in here. Uh, and that's just because we ride around the house. So I don't want to be trailering them around. What would be your ultimate bike if money were no object? All of, all of them. As many as I could. What would be my ultimate bike? I I, I don't know, man. Like I, I don't know if I could answer that right now. Maybe like a Rahu three hundred. Um, which, if you're not familiar, the Rahus kept their three hundred. They were making gas gas motorcycles, and then KTM conglomerate soaked up gas gas. But Rahu which was the actual uh, manufacturing plant, kept the rights for their 300 two-stroke. And they're making a boutique bike right now that is um, pretty phenomenal. So if, I don't know. I'd, I'd really like to ride one of them. So if money was no option and I could try something, I guess that would be it. Or I would just get a bike like this and throw a bunch of money at modding it because that's a lot of fun. That's... It's almost more fun than just buying a bike that's done. Um, I kind of enjoy buying something like this and then adding to it. Next question is from Murdoch, the 501. That was a good question. Any other questions? We'll have to double check your email again. We get a lot of emails. Yeah. Yeah, emails. Actually, that was kind of on the list of things I wanted to talk about. We get slammed with emails, and I try really hard to get back to all of them. Um, but one of the things is if, if you're sending information on a bike, like sending emails and asking what's wrong with your bike is, is really tough. Like, I'll be honest, I'm not going to troubleshoot your motorcycle over email. Um, but if you have a bike that you're interested in selling or, or, or letting us use for the channel or something, there's some really key information that we need to know. A, we need to know where you are because, you know, we spend, spend time going back and forth and all this just to realize you're 3,000 miles from me. Um, kind of puts a damper on it. So we need to know where you're from. We need to know what the bike is. We need to know what you want for the bike. Um, you know, all that pertinent information needs to be in the email. Um, just because we're getting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds a week and, 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 and it's, it just really helps to narrow things down a little bit. Yeah, let's pick a winner. Stop. Point. There. That one. Right there. Here. Co Cody! Cody, you won. Cody won. Shoot Cody an email. Here. Can you take a picture and send Cody a picture? Oh my gosh. Nice. Cody, Dan's going to shoot you an email, reply to him with your uh, uh, address and all that stuff, and we'll get this sent out to you tomorrow. I'm going to put this over here. Let me give you a quick shop tour while we're walking around. I'm going to show you my, uh, my offices here. Um, here's, hold on. Uh, all right. 
So here's my office. This is my area. It's fun. This is our coat rack. This is my trophy I got from beating Sean at drifting. Uh, that was a fun day. Here's our kitchen. We have a coffee pot and uh, that stuff there we never used, uh, but we have it. And of course we have our AG1 because you know you gotta stay healthy. This area here, um, Sean sent us Christmas cookies. So we got those here, but this is our shipping and receiving area. And down here is our inventory area. This is where the merch is stored. And this is where the merch gets shipped from. What else do we got? We have our IT area. This would be our IT section. Dan keeps his stuff there. This is Dan's office. And it's nice because Dan's office is right close to my office. Um, we can pretty much just talk right back and forth, which is nice. Uh, what else do we have? We have the kids' corner. We have the kids' corner. That's good. We have parts shelving. That's a mess, but we have it. So Squirrely Dan asks, what's the scariest moment on a ride you've had? Anytime I think I'm going to hit the deck. Like... You know, you, 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 you think you're going to hit the deck, but then you somehow save it. Um, those are always good. Scariest moments. Yeah, those are scary moments. Yeah, when you just think you're going to totally yard sale it and somehow save it. <laughs> that happens at every ride. Every ride. Um, and it generally happens towards the end of the day when you're all tired and start getting a little lazy on the throttle. Um, what else do we have? So we have our work area and our tire changing area. And if you guys saw the Goldwing video, uh, we got the Goldwing running after we on seized that motor. We now have fire extinguishers pretty much all throughout the shop, which we didn't have that day. So now we have a fire extinguisher mounted here and one over there. And one over there, so we should be good for now. We should be good for now. That was half the shot. Yeah, we can do another giveaway. What should we give away? Who wants a ridge hat? Who wants a ridge hat? And just send, so you, send in the subject line, I want a ridge hat. I want a ridge hat in the send subject line. Email. And guys, we're not... CBM giveaways at gmail.com. Point at the board again. Also, if you don't want a ridge hat, you want ridge stuff... Yeah, we are... Go to ridge.com slash CBM because that supports us. Yeah. Yeah, our link is still live with Ridge, ridge.com slash TBM, right? I think that's it, yeah. Um, we'll double check that. But what was I just going to say? Oh, the emailing in to, to win this stuff or whatever. This isn't some crafty way for us to get your email address and, and whatever. Um, we're not that sharp. <laughs> this is just the easiest way we figured out how to give you guys some stuff. So... Don't don't be scared. Just email it in. We'll if you win, we're gonna send you something. It's that easy. It is that easy. So, Dan, do we have anybody that wants a ridge hat? Okay, we'll start. Scroll back and forth. Okay, ready, set. That guy right there. It's Gary. Yep. yep. Gary. You Gary. Won. Gary, you want a ridge hat? Dan is going to shoot you an email right now. Reply to him with your name and address. And we'll get it out to you tomorrow morning. That's fun. That's fun, skis. And don't forget, tonight until, from now until tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, anybody that orders a t-shirt uh, gets free shipping. It is free shipping on all orders between now and 9, tomorrow morning. And yes, that includes anybody outside the U.S. as well. 
you're welcome. Merry Christmas. All right, all right. We have we have a couple orders. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I'll answer them in a second. Pick a number between one and six. You. Four. Four. Awesome. Jamie Gordon. Jamie Gordon is... What? He bought a t-shirt, so he's oh. getting a Ridge wallet. Maybe I should surprise him. Jamie, if you're listening, just forget this. J A M I E. And Jamie, what's his name, Mo? Uh, what was the question on the. Uh, there's been a few questions. A few people asked about the list here in the shop mm -hmm. again. As far as the details. The details sure. and stuff. Like, what's, what's the, what do you look for in the list? So. And the list that you have. Lifts, lifts range. You And it's going to cost you, I don't know where it is today, sub 500 bucks, right? Um, you start. And that one over there that you see in the shop, these tables here are a step up. They're very run of the mill average tables. These tables here run you close to like 800 to 900 bucks. And they're, they're okay. Again, they do what they need to do. What I look for in a lift, there's two things. I look for lift height, which k &L nails, because this is, I don't even think, up all the way. So this will still lift up a little bit. And being a tall guy, I want to get the bike up in the air as far as I can. The other thing I really liked with this lift is the lifting capacity is high enough that when I would have a side-by-side, -side, I could actually slide this lift under the side-by-side -side and lift the whole side-by-side -side up. Uh, with this lift. So that works well. Those are the two things. The third thing I look for is how easy it is uh, for the dropaways. So like this one here, oh, I have to pull this. So that's not handy. But you want dropaways that are easy, like back here I'll show you. For changing tires. Um, so you can just drop that away, and now you have room, you can pull the tire out. That's the other thing I look for. Those are the three biggest things for tables in my book. Um, when you do it all day, or you're doing it as a profession, or whatever, I, you know, I spent the money and, and, and got a good table for those three reasons. Lift height, lift capacity, and uh, dropouts. These still have them. These, like this, this one here, you know, it still has a drop out here in the back, but it doesn't have one in the front. This has both front and rear. Um, so yeah, this is just a really, it's it's a good product. Did I answer that question? Any other, uh, any other questions pop up? Running live to nine, somewhere right about nine, I believe. I'm driving by from Canada tomorrow. Are there items? I don't know. What's your favorite brand of bike? Yamaha. I've kind of always been a Yamaha guy. I grew up on Yamahas. My first thing was a Yamaha um, Trizinger. Uh, I got it when I was four, and uh, yeah, so I kind of always been a Yamaha guy. Scariest moment you've had? Oh, that was Squirrely Dan on the super chat. Big hi from Ireland. What's up, Ireland? You said you were a big fan of Calus. Do you plan on getting one? If so, what generation? 
Um, do I plan? I probably won't get a concourse, just honestly, because I don't get a chance to ride a whole lot. I got three little kids and a wife and a dirt bike and a company, and I just I don't have time uh, to go out and ride. But um, if I were looking for a sport touring bike like that, yeah, a concourse would, would be on my list. Zook Nation. Do you, you do repairs for the general public? I get that question all the time. Uh, the answer is no, I do not at the moment. Uh, everything we do is, is, is focused on the channel and based around the channel. So my shop, I, I actually closed my shop down uh, in 2021, I believe, um, to the public. I do bring in some bikes to work on. Uh, but it's not really general public stuff. It'll be, you know, friend or friend of a friend or special circumstances where um, we can make it work for a video with, with all the logistics and, and I'm not just taking some random person's bike to, to work on. So no, not right now. We're not doing any, uh, any work for the, just the public. Uh, but who knows, maybe one day we will be opening up a shop again. Uh, it's something we talk about from time to time. So. Stay tuned because I do. I think that would be a lot of fun. You need a Ducati. Man, I can't afford a Ducati. No, I can't afford to buy one. I can't afford to work on one. Sweden. What got me into working on bikes? Riding bikes and being too broke to have a mechanic fix them. You have to learn how to fix them yourself when you're a kid. Um, no, I was lucky. I just kind of grew up around it. Um, kind of just grew up around the mechanic stuff in, 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 you know, my, my whole life where my, my grandparents had a, had a farm and we had uh, a farm equipment business. So I grew up in the shop of the farm equipment business, um, and then construction equipment. And I was always kind of wrenching on that stuff and whatever. And uh, my uncles, uh, being around the farm and whatever, they were always into like really cool, cool, to really cool toys. They would come home with cars or trucks or motorcycles or snowmobiles or whatever. And uh, uh, race cars. We we my uncle raced for a number of years, so I was a kid, you know, just wee on up, and I'd get to spend nights in the race car garage watching those guys fix stuff and and work and wrench on stuff. And uh, uh, it's kind of just always it's just. It's just what I was born with. So that's what got me. What got me into bikes really is when I was a kid at the, at the farm, I remember my uncle had a, a IT-175, and I think it was a 79. And I just remember seeing that bike when I was a kid, and I thought it was the coolest thing in the world, and I couldn't wait till I was big enough to ride one. Um, so, yeah, now I have one, and I'm excited to ride it. But that's why I have this bike. That's why I have this IT-175, because... Kind of like that bike from my childhood. I feel like I'm talking really fast. Good. But I've had like 14 coffees today. Hey, my two random questions. Probably four. <laughs> What's your favorite multi Fluke 115. Yeah, hands down, Fluke. Uh, and the numbers, I mean, my, my recommendation on the multimeter is get the simplest one that will do what you need it to do. Because if you get multimeters that are too complicated, they're just too complicated. So my opinion is the Fluke 115. I think it's the 115. Nah, 117. Fluke 117 is my meter of choice. Um, as important as the meter is, um, now again, these things aren't cheap, but when you're doing it, uh, and you need to rely on it, get yourself a good one. But get yourself a good set of leads too. And these are detachable leads. So I can put in pins, I can put in big clamps, I can put in little clamps, all sorts of stuff. Um, but yeah, that's my multimeter of choice. Whoa! We just got a super chat from Bikes and Beards, and he wants to give something away on my live stream, he said. What? Hey, Sean. 
That's exciting. We got to, I think Dan's going to get a hold of him. We got to see what he's got up his sleeve. We got to see what he's got up his sleeve. Yeah, yeah, Sean is in the chat too, it looks like. So you guys feel free to hit him up. Hey, Craig, any plans on coming to Laconia Bike Week in New Hampshire for June? Hey, Caleb. Caleb, I saw an email from you. Um, I need to respond to you. I read your email and I absolutely loved it. Thank you so much for sending that story. Um, yeah, and of course I remembered who you were when I, when I saw the email. Um, June's going to be tough for me. I got a lot going on in June this year, but I'm going to try. I'll try to make it up to Laconia. I will try. And yeah, I, um, like I said, Caleb, I, I will get back to your email too. Um, that was one of those emails that hits you right in the feels, you know? It was a good one. Yeah, it looks like Sean's. I miss bike races, Sean, and big guy Craig. The bike races are fun. I always beat Sean, though. It's slow. All right, next I think we'll give away... Let's give away a K&L mechanic apron. These are good for... These are really good for mechanicaling. Especially if you're like me and you generally wear your church clothes to work. Or your work clothes are your church clothes. Um, they're also good for grilling. You can use them to grill. So if you'd like a K&L mechanics apron, shoot us an email at tbmgiveaways at gmail. And in the subject line, put K&L apron. Hey. What's happening, buddy? It's going great. Nice. Hey, I want to give away three cans. If people buy those uh, um, shirts, the uh, everyone needs a Craig shirt. Because the everyone needs a Craig shirt will buy an ice cream. So <laughs> because I think everyone needs a Craig. We all need a Craig. Or set up for uh, one person who, who orders the shirt is going to get one. Set of four of tank straps. Blue, nice. Big pack of tank straps. Nice. M1 Moto. The second one's M1 Moto spray. Give away uh, I think M1 Moto spray. And then three, a pair of 508 um, black gloves. So if you get a shirt, you have a, you have, the, you have a pretty good possibility of winning one of those three. One of those three things. Uh, one person will not get all of those unless they do multiple short, short shirt orders. I guess it's be possible. And they get really lucky. And they get really lucky. Um, so I just want to let everyone know that and uh, hope you guys have a good, uh, good live stream. I'll continue watching and commenting. All right. Awesome. Thank you, dude. That's really cool. Craig, what's the temperature over there? Uh, it's 74 and sunny. Yeah. Um, the weather's always nicer in Tennessee. It's always just a little bit nicer in Tennessee. <laughs> hey, Craig, tell everyone nice. the story of your dirt bike. This, my YZ. Yeah, and then have Dan fill in the story of how long we waited in the car hiding <laughs> behind your shop to try to give it to you. This is the... Sean gave me this the other year for a Christmas present, and it was by far the best Christmas present I got that year. Sorry, honey. I'm not lying. So this, this beat, whatever it was, you got me. So he, you guys, they snuck into the shop. Yeah. I'm sorry. I got two phones. I forget who I'm talking to. So are, are you, wait, 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 hold on. Are you and Dan wearing the same shirts? I told, you were supposed to keep your jacket on. I got hot. Yes. It's 74 and sunny in Pennsylvania. Same shirts. You guys like, you guys run the same pants. What, what, what AM before Craig finally went to bed? Yeah, so. Craig the, didn't go to bed until like 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it was awful. The story goes like this. 
I don't always fall asleep real easy, so I spend a lot of time out here in my shop. Well, unbeknownst to me, was that a Thursday night too? Okay, so another thing that happens on Thursday nights is I have some friends over and we hang out and, you know, it's shop time with your friends. And uh, yeah, apparently I didn't know it, but Sean and Dan were sitting in a pickup truck down the street for hours waiting for us to, uh, to call it quits and, and go to bed so that they could sneak into my garage and have my wife wake me up to bring me out here and show me this awesome Christmas present. Your microphone is there. Yeah. <laughs> Can they hear me? Yeah. Okay, so then the big concern for me and Dan was, is Craig going to come out thinking that his shop's getting broken into, and is he going to come, like, you know, shooting us, and, uh, you know, is Dan going to get shot? <laughs> um, Craig wouldn't shoot me. Dan might get shot. Luckily, I, I, Craig, did your wife tell you not to bring a gun? Uh... She, well, she didn't specifically say that, but I, that's kind of when I knew something wasn't right because there's no way she would. There's no way I would walk out here without one normally. Right. If that, if she woke me up from a dead sleep, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have my sidearm with me to go inspect things if she thinks something goofy's going on. Yeah. Well, what, what did your wife say to you? I don't even remember. This was like two years. And you remember the beginning of my story was we were out here for friends night. And, and you know, we were, you know, up late. So I don't remember. Nice. But it was a fun night. And you had the smoke machine going. I thought my shop was on fire at first. Yeah, I feel like Dan was pretty new at that point. He was. He was. He went to bed early every night for like three weeks after that, hoping you would show up to give him something. <laughs> yeah, we still never gave Dan nothing. Yeah. Like, he got. Uh, I gotta move out of. I gotta move out of Pennsylvania. So, uh, Craig will. Craig will give him something. <laughs> yeah. Remember what episode that was for Bikes and Beers? Uh, whatever episode was two years ago. Two years ago, Christmas time. Yeah, it was. Uh, and it was like I gave Craig a dirt bike. I don't know what it was. Um, I, for, I forget. I, 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 was, I kind of forget that episode. You'd be able to find it. Yeah, it's a wrapped yeah, up dirt bike. Oh yeah, yeah. And I love it. I remember actually the video didn't do that well. <laughs> no one cared to see us give you give you a dirt bike. Worked out pretty good for me. It worked out pretty good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll let's get back to your live stream. All right. So. All right. So, say bye, Sean. Bye, Sean. Bye. All right, so, 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 so three things. Someone's getting a pair of gloves. Someone's getting a pair. And then um, we'll, we will track you down and figure out what size you need. Gloves, detail spray, and, um, and a four-pack of tank straps. For someone who buys the Everyone Needs a Craig shirt, because I think everyone needs a Craig. So I'll see you guys later. Later, buddy. I don't know. Is it done? I think it's done. So that answers another big question that I get quite a bit. And that is, am I upset that Sean left us high and dry in Pennsylvania? That's not what happened at all. Sean moved to Tennessee um, because they wanted to. And I am super stoked for them. Uh, and he didn't leave us high and dry at all. Yes, we are still friends. Um, we still talk all the time. I was just down there filming with him and uh, had a blast. It was really good to, to, to see him and the family again and hang out. So, yeah, I mean, we're still boys. And that works out well for you guys, too, because now you're getting some more free stuff. So if you order a shirt between tonight when we're doing this, um, not only do you have a chance to win some of the Ridge stuff, you're going to have a chance to win four tank straps, a pack of four tank straps, the detailing spray and a pair of gloves. So that's three more winners we're going to add to the list. The beardedmechanic.shop. The, yeah, you got to go to the beardedmechanic.shop.
to the next seminar. Yeah, I started this. Since that was K and L apron. If you guys want a K and L apron and it's something you think you would use to either barbecue or wrench or you know just wear as a nighty one night, that uh, go to tbmgiveawaysgmail.com and put in K and L apron. Oh, geez. All right. Well, I'm going to pick it. I'm going to pick one in, 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 in five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Do that again. All right. That one right there. <laughs> Hazy. Hazy? <laughs> Hazy. I like my IPAs. Is that the truth? Is that the picture? Bam. Hazy, Dan's shooting you an email. Get back to him with your address, and we're going to get this shipped out to you tomorrow. What's the TZK? What's the what? What's the TZK? What's the ZZK? Oh, is that a question? TZK is $200. An offer? An offer? I don't know. What else do we got? Uh, I've got a pair of those cool bikes and beards, motorcycle gloves, top, top notch stuff. Yeah, dude, like those gloves are really nice. Um, I started wearing them years ago now. Um, yeah, they, they're super comfortable and they last forever. And I, I really like them. So that's awesome. Okay, so we gave that away. Uh, let's see here. We need to figure out how we're going to give Sean stuff away. Those are all in the t-shirt orders. So guys, girls, get your orders in for the shirts. Again, it's thebeardedmechanic.shop. It is free shipping on shirts anywhere in the world from now until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. So everybody outside the U.S., Merry Christmas. You got free shipping on a shirt. While we're doing this, and uh, we're gonna put some of these things. Are people still saying that they're international for things that we're doing? Uh, I just thought I want to bring it to you again. Oh, okay. Just make a note. Okay, we'll, if, we'll, we made a note and we'll double check to make sure that the international shipping is working. That was the plan. We set correct. It to that. We set it to that. So we'll double check it after this live stream. We'll uh, make sure unless you're in northern Kazakhstan or something and they just don't have male ponies there. Um, but otherwise, yeah, you should. it should be working. Uh, if it's not, we'll. we'll We'll get you situated. We'll get you situated. Uh, let's see, what else do we have to give away? I'm kind of curious about this, so I want to open this up. I kind of liked this thing when I saw it. This is a Ridge backpack. And it clips places, does things. So for the next couple minutes here, while I look at this, um, if you go to tbmgiveaways at gmail.com, put in, look at this is like a transformer. Put in Ridge Backpack or Ridge Sack or something like that. And we are gonna pick one of you guys and we are gonna send this to you. Now, you know, if this doesn't look like something you'd use, then just don't send the email in. But if this looks like something you'd like and something you would use, go ahead and shoot us an email over there at the uh, tbmgiveaways at gmail.com. Oh, look, you got water holders. Two of them. That's a pair. Kind of small, though. But you can fit water bottles in there easily. I like it. That's a nice little satchel for on the run. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, TBM giveaways. Put in their uh, ridge sack or something like that. And uh, and uh, if you win, we are going to shoot you an email. We're going to probably do this here. I'm, I, this is like a map. There's no way I'm going to get it back into it. Oh, dang it. How do you get? Oh, wait. Hopefully 
Hopefully Craig gives it back to you, fold it up properly. It, it flips inside out. You're going to get it back folded. I don't know if it'll be properly. There, like this. Oh, that's so easy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Here, this is great to like throw in, um, throw in your glove box or in your trunk or something, especially if you got some kids or whatnot, and you get to the park or you get to the motorcycle store, because that's where you should be going, um, and you realize you don't have a backpack or whatever, and you just pull this out and put stuff in it, and then you have a backpack to use. Well, that was exciting. Somebody's going to win this, though. Anybody emailing in? Yeah, lots of people. Lots of people? Yeah. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Ready? Ready. So. <laughs> well, it didn't hit it the first time, so right, I had to hit it. You got it. Evan. Yes, that's the one I was shooting for. That's the one name I saw. Evan. Dan is going to be shooting you an email right now. Get back to him with uh, all your uh, information. We'll get this sent out to you tomorrow. This is, this is going beautifully now that it's uh, working. Okay, checking some Shopify orders. Nice. Any questions there that we need to get caught up on? Here we go, Murdoch. Does Dan have a bike and ride? Should we shame him into two wheels? Dan does not have a bike yet, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get him on two wheels. He needs to, he, he's, he's raring, he's ready to go, he has his permit. Um, he just needs to get on the, uh, the all right, I'm look. I'm gonna make it sound look. really lame. <laughs> I'm gonna just, I'll be as honest as I can here. Dan scares the bejesus out of me on the, no. Um, I just need to give Dan a day off so he can, or a weekend off or something so he can go take the safety course. And then once he takes the safety course, then he'll have taken the safety course and get his license, and then maybe we'll be getting him on a bike. So it's coming. It's coming. We're going to teach Dan a whole lot coming up in 2024. We're going to try to, we're going to, try to teach him how to uh, do some wrenching. We're going to teach him. We're going to get him on a bike. Uh, he's going to have a big year. Have Dan buy a bike, fix it up for a vid and have him try and ride it. That's a good idea. I, I like that idea. Uh, what else do we got They're here? They're asking for the longest video ever. What are we doing? They said they want me to fix up a bike. Oh, geez. They're asking for the longest video. Get him on a PW50. Yeah, maybe that's what I should get him on. I tell you what, though, Dan... Dan came on board with, with us, what, Dan, two, three years ago? Something like that. And, uh, and he didn't know what side of the motorcycle was up. Uh, and now he's... <laughs> I didn't know Indian was a motorcycle company. That's, that's true. Um, but no, he's learned a ton of stuff in the last few years. And, and uh, it's, that's really good. That's cool. Pimp a monogram. Oh no, the screen froze. Huh. Well, we're sorry, we're running low on battery. Here we go. Here we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. We are fixing the screen. No, the, the screen's on. We're back. We're, oh, we're, we're back. back. We're yeah. back. All right. Whew. The the problem is your phone battery. Okay. Well, there's still some. What tools do you carry on a long trip? Oh man, it depends who I'm riding with. I generally, I generally, okay, look, I'll be honest. I generally rely on the other people I'm riding with to bring tools. That's just, I'm just being honest. So a lot of times I will pick my, my riding. Well, I'm, I'm lucky, I got good responsible riding buddies and they generally have tools with them. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little lax when it comes to that. Um, now, in fairness, it's not like we're out in the desert somewhere 
150 miles from home. When I do things like that, then I'm a little more prepared. But for just around here, yeah, I generally, I forget my tool bag. Dan needs a Riker. No, we're not putting Dan on that. How many 10 millimeters do you carry? All of them. I also carry a nine millimeter. Your mic is fading. It shouldn't be fading. Uh, maybe because the camera battery was going a little low, but we should be, should we come, mic is fine. All right, cool. Uh, what's your go-to website for OEM Honda parts? OEM any parts, I pretty much use Partzilla, uh, at least for a parts lookup. From there, I can uh, get parts breakdowns or whatever. I buy most of my OEM parts from Partzilla. Um, yeah, that's who I use. Mike is fine. So is Mike. Oh, good. Let's, um, we got a, we're at 828 right now, so we got a half hour left. Is so Matt Waxler, is Matt Wax? somebody said Matt Waxler, is Matt Waxler legit in chat? He might be. He oh, be dude, I hope, I hope he is. <laughs> Matt, if you're watching. He knows we're streaming today. Hello, buddy. Dude, let's, let, let's talk about that for a second. Matt and his museum dinner at Wheels Through Time. If you're a motorcycle fan, it, it, it is, you have to go see Wheels Through Time. Like, it's down in Maggie Valley, uh, North Kakalaka, North, North Carolina. Maggie Valley, North Carolina, North Kakalaka. Um, it's the museum that runs. He has, he has a collection of the most insane uh, old Harleys and old Indians and old Crockers and old, just anything old motorcycle related. And uh, it all runs. Like he can get it to start and uh, he can take just about anything in that museum for a ride. And he knows everything. And the people he is working at the museum giving tours know that place inside and out. And it is incredible. If you're ever in the area, go and check it out. Also, another thing they do every year is they build a giveaway bike. And uh, I think it happens in like September or October they, or November. When do they do the giveaway? It's at towards the end of the year, September, October, November. Um, but Matt himself and his team of guys, they build a bike throughout the year. And this last year was a, was a beautiful knucklehead. Uh, I saw the pictures of it. I got to see it in person. It was, it was just gorgeous. And they sell raffle tickets. You can buy raffle tickets. It helps support the museum and the stuff that they're doing there at the museum. Um, so definitely check it out. Also, check out their YouTube channel, um, Wheels Through Time, and uh, they got some, some killer videos and some awesome motorcycles. Um, yeah, let's give away another shirt. Who is a large? No, they're both the same. So let's do this. All right, let's do both at the same time. Maybe in the subject line, large, extra large. Oh, Jesus. Pick one. Okay, so in the subject line, trying to keep this easy, and then I get Dan involved. Um, in the subject line, put Ridge shirt L for large, XL for extra large. We're gonna have two winners. And we're gonna have two winners, and you guys are gonna get some Ridge T-shirts. Uh, another question I saw in here was about meet and greets and bike nights coming up for 2024. Spark plug donation from Johnny. Thanks, dude. We'll be sure to use that. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Johnny. Um, so we have a couple things going on for 2024. Uh, March, March 14th, 15th, and 16th, we will be in Utah at Sand Hollow for the Off-Road Games. Uh, go to offroadgames.com. All the information is right there. Uh, it is going to be incredible. Uh, it sounds like the deal is they got a bunch of us YouTubers and then uh, that aren't four-wheeling guys. And then they got a bunch of YouTubers that are four-wheeling guys and girls. And um, uh, they're going to pair the non-four-wheeling ones with the four-wheeling ones. And we're going to have a bunch of challenges. 
and it is going to be a blast. I don't think they know though that I do have a little experience four wheeling. So I'm going to go into this event a little cocky and confident. Um, just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. But that's March 14th, 15th, 16th. And that is in Sand Hollow, Utah. So if you guys live out that way or you're fans of any of the other channels like Donut Media or Project Farm or Matt's Off-Road Recovery or Robbie Layton or Fab Rats or any of those other channels, um, maybe you want to come out, bring the family. It is going to be awesome. I will be there with um, a bunch of friends and uh, we're all going to be hanging out and having a great time. So that is on the list. After that, we have... Or no, I'm sorry. Just before that, I believe, would be Daytona Bike Week in Florida. Uh, there's a chance I'll be at Daytona Bike Week in Florida. There's also a chance the weekend before Bike Week starts, uh, I'm going to be at the Sons of Speed Race. Uh, that is on my calendar. Uh, fingers crossed that that all works out, and I'll be there. So if you guys are going to Daytona, keep an eye out. We, uh, we may be able to see each other down in Daytona. Uh, as for there, we have Laconia in June. Uh, it's on my radar. I'd really like to be there for that as well. And then, I don't know, man, we're not great at planning. So that's, that's kind of as far as we've gotten uh, with plans. But, but to see us out at bike night or something is going to be pretty rare. Um, possibly if you're local here to like the Lancaster area, um, may try to do a couple breakfasts at lawn. Uh, this this year uh, haven't done that in man I feel like it's been 20 years since I've done one of those so I might try to get down to one or two of those this year uh, but other than that I, I just I'm sorry I, I run out of time and and you know family and all that stuff what you got Dan oh we're gonna pick all right what size do we got that one all right uh, Hanny you won the large Nice. I, I don't, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Honey, Hanny. Dan is sending you an email. Right meow. Uh, get back to him with your... And then in just a second, we'll pick the extra one. With your um, shipping information, we'll get it sent out to you tomorrow. Um, let's see. Craig, you're a good bro. Can you wheelie? Um, I can wheelie really good until, can we go to Shady Maple, Josh? Yes, Josh, we can. Um, I can really wheelie, wheelie good, um, until I can't. And, uh, I look, I, I, I look really cool until I crash. Um, but no, that is on my list of things. I do need to get better at wheelies. I can do them, but not great. Pick the extra large. Oh, oh, oh. dang it. Yeah, that, it was that one. Was it yeah, All right, yeah. Matthew. Matthew, you got an extra large shirt coming your way. Bam. Bam. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> got it. Dan is sending you an email. Respond to his email with your shipping information. We'll get that in the mail to you tomorrow. Who would like to win... 36. We got about 24 minutes left. And I, right, the rest of these are for t-shirts. What's that? The rest of these are for t-shirts. Yep, these are all going in t-shirt orders. They're going to they're going to get thrown into a random they are those those uh, items there are randomly going to get thrown into t-shirt orders. So, you'll know you won when you get your bag and there's one in. If there's not one in with your t-shirt, then you didn't win. I'm sorry. Show, show them off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ridge, wallet. And I tell you what, guys. Like actually has been like, using it for a long time. Like I've way been, before we were like, jeez, oh, for crime and Italy. He loves it so much, he drops it. All, all right. So here's the deal. Years ago... I got a magic wallet for Christmas, and I loved that thing. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And then it gave up the ghost about a year later, and I got another one, and I still liked it. But then it gave up the ghost about a year later, and I finally bit the bullet. I told my wife, I said, I really want one of these wallets because it's like my style. I front pocket. It's clean. It's quick. It's easy. 
And they're expensive though. Um, but I got one and I love it. And I've had this thing for years. I mean, this thing looked almost like this one when it was new. Um, and I just wear them out. Uh, but yeah, this thing here is years old and it's phenomenal. So I wanted to share uh, the Ridge wallet. Somebody's gonna get a Ridge wallet. Somebody's gonna get a Ridge keychain. I started using one of these earlier this year and I really like that as well. This is a coin tray. That should go with the wallet. It doesn't really, there's not much use without the wallet because it goes into it. No, wait, this does? Yeah, it goes into the wallet. Oh, I thought this was something else. Okay, well, whoever wins the wallet's also gonna get the coin tray for in the wallet. Who carries I'll, change around anymore? I'll go. No one. And a Ridge pen. Um, these are nice pens. These are the bold action pens. They feel really good in the hand. They write nice. I like them. So that stuff is going to go in shirt orders, as well as Sean from Bikes and Beards called in, and he is going to be thrown into the giveaways as well. He's going to give a four pack of tank straps away and the blue, I think he said, which is awesome. That's my favorite. Um, color I like that blue color and he's also going to give away some detailing spray and he's going to give away a pair of gloves so get those orders in for shirts don't forget and I mean we're not doing this live for you to just buy shirts and push shirts we wanted to do it to hang out and have fun um, but beardedmechanic.shop we do have some shirts for sale shipping is free until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning um, the beardedmechanic.shop so we are going to be throwing that stuff in with some random shirt orders. Let's for funsies. We have a few minutes to kill yet. Let's give away a couple t-shirts. Everybody needs a Craig shirts. Okay. I, I just watched Dan's head explode. Here we go. Let's figure out how we're going to do this. We're not. Okay. Put in. Email? To the email. We're going to email. TBM gets here. Let me see. Yep, spin that camera. Just, just spin the whole knob. TBM giveaways. I feel like I need a pointer. See, what you want to do is email TBM giveaways at gmail.com. Put in everybody needs a Craig. And then do M, L, X, L, 2X, 3X. And then we'll know what size to send you. And what we're going to do uh, here before we wrap up is we are going to give away some shirts. So start getting those emails in. Subject line, everybody needs a, or everybody needs a Craig. Put your size in there. And then tbmgiveaways at gmail.com. We're going to check the email here in a couple minutes and we're going to start giving some shirts away as well. Um, yeah. Any other questions we can answer as we wrap up? Someone asked what heats the shop. You know, in case you want to point to your heater. The heater. <laughs> the heater. Oh, here, we didn't, we didn't finish the... We didn't finish the shop tour. Oh, okay. This is the fabrication area here because we have welders and fab. This is the grinder department. We keep the grinders here. This is the heater. This is what heats the shop. Propane. Propane mobile home furnace. We pick them up on Marketplace these days for not much. Sand blaster, dry blaster. Um, I got this when I was doing the Harley WLDR race bike. Um, I have now switched. I think I am getting away from dry blasting altogether. And I cobbled up my wet blaster here from Harbor Freight, and it's working really well. I still have to dial it in, but it's going well. Um, so, yeah, I'm switching over to wet blasting. Everything's going to be wet blasting from here on out. Uh, we have some parts in the cabinet. We have bolt bins, nut bins, fuel clamps, plastic rivets, grommets, fuses, relays, all that sort of stuff that you need. 
In here we have, this is all carb stuff, uh, float needles, O-rings, actually this here is cable ends, battery hardware, jets, float bowl screws, dowel pins, all sorts of carb stuff there, chain links, um, wire connectors, all that sort of stuff. Uh, what else do we have? Specialty tools, Dan. There's a whole bunch of specialty tools. Look at them, clutch pullers, all sorts of clutch pullers, all sorts of suspension tools, more pullers, it takes it all. You talked about the uh, sonic cleaning, right? Or did you? I didn't talk about the sonic cleaner. Someone's asking. Yeah, we got the big sonic cleaner now. This thing works really well, actually. Still playing around with the sauce that I put in there. Somebody suggested pine saw. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that, actually. I'm going to try pine saw. That's next. So next time I need to use that, I'm going to try pine saw instead of degreaser. The other thing I'm going to do here in the near future, I already started getting the stuff, but this is my parts washer. So this is just a you know, a big old parts washer. And I don't use it that often. So I'm gonna actually convert my wet blaster into a high pressure heated, heated high pressure degreaser. So I'll have a, I'll have a hot tank on the bottom and then it'll just feed, siphon feed right up through and I'll be able to blast off my parts that way instead of using this. Excuse me, sorry, I hope, that's my plan. We'll see if it works. Uh, oh, here's the neat part of the shop. This is our hose reel collection um, because my hose air reels broke uh, and I have these two and I've had these two for months now, but they sit here because it takes, you know, like 20 minutes to hang them up and do that stuff and I just haven't gotten there yet. So that's, that's that section of the shop. I believe that is pretty much an entire shop tour. How many t-shirts are we giving away? Let's start with, how many emails? Did you get more than five emails? Sure, I got a lot more than five emails. Okay, let's start with five. <laughs> you wanna do five emails? Yep. We need to write this Let's see where they start. Right there. You pointing to Wade? Yep. Because I just clicked on Wade. Yep. All right. <laughs> We're gonna reply to. Wait. He wants oh, to win. Oh wait, 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 that's a wallet. Nope, nope. You're not winning a wallet. Sorry, wrong one. Uh, everybody needs a Craig. Here, you gave a size, David. Yeah. There you go. There we go. All right. Oh wait, he says I love you, Dan. No, he doesn't get. No, just kidding. Here, take a picture. Well, we do because it's consistency. <laughs> it's true. Dan's shooting you a picture. I'm just shooting you a picture. I'm not shooting you instructions. Dan's just shooting Actually, you an No, I am shooting you instructions. I'm Dan's shooting you an email. Um, so reply to that, and we'll get it all straightened away. We need another one. There we go. Ooh, somebody wants a medium. Kyle. Kyle. Kyle gets a medium. I'm just, I'm saving them. Don't okay. We'll, we'll go back to them. All right. And that's not a name. Hold on. <laughs> what did you do? Oh. Stop. Yeah, it was that one. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, All Christopher. Right. You almost lost Chris it because I almost deleted it. All right. There we All go. All right. <coughs> uh, how many was that? Three? That was three? Yeah. All right. James, everybody needs a Craig. You didn't give a size, though. Well, we can figure that well, out. I guess we'll have to ask you. All right. Yeah, my big, big boy. <laughs> B BG, I guess that BG. stands, guess that Three stands X. for big. He just forgot the I. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
that was five, right? Yeah. Would we just stopping at five? We, okay. We can stop at five. Okay. We could do um, how many emails do we have? Should a we lot. Gi- should we give away a another lot. five? We could give away another five. All right, let's give away another five. You guys getting your emails in. Here, here, I'm refreshing. All right, there we go. We've got a lot. Okay, this one right here. <coughs> um, yeah, that was the one? That was, that the, was one. the one. Okay, another David. Or a K David. K, K David, you won. Mm, which one? The top one there. Michael. Michael! Everybody's picking XL. Well, that's okay. We got XLs. So that was how many more? Is that two more? That was so it, two more. So yeah. we're at seven. So we're at seven. Three more makes ten. Get some JIS screwdrivers. Joe. Joe D. Joe. Joe's getting a large. I'm reading off all your sizes. Everyone's going to know how big of a boy you are. Wait, we, we keep, we was, keep doing I, around that section. Go up here. Uh, Pick from one of these. This, this spot needs love. There we go. All right, Carter. And one more. Not, all right, one more. One more. One more. Hold on. We're just No, okay, let's do it. We're going to give away the last one, and then the giveaways are all over. Right. We'll answer another couple questions. Hold your finger out and close your eyes. Hold your finger. There we go. All right. Uh, that's like a that's like a gamer tag. Vengeful Reaper three. Well, you won. There you go. All right. That was fun. That was fun. Um. Everybody else, like I said, don't forget to uh, if you want a shirt. Now would be a good time to uh, to do it. You got free shipping until tomorrow morning, and uh, we're going to throw in some giveaway stuff and random orders, and Sean from Bikes and Beards is throwing in three awesome giveaways as well. Um, Yeah, so to recap, thank you so much for an awesome 2023. Um, We threw a lot on the line here, and and, uh, we're working hard for you guys, and we really appreciate you watching and following along and being active in the chat and keeping the chat fun uh, and all that stuff. Like really, we couldn't do this without you. We really appreciate you. Um, so yeah, 2023, man, it's a blur. Christmas is coming up here in a few days. Uh, we're gonna take a couple days off for the new year. Uh, coming in 2024, the biggest event we have coming up first is uh, on the schedule 100%. We will be at the Off-Road Games in Sand Hollow, Utah. That is going to be March 14th, 15th, and 16th. Uh, Also a good chance we're going to be down in Florida uh, at the beginning of Daytona Bike Week. Hopefully we will be at the Sons of Speed Race, uh, and we got some fun stuff going on there. Uh, So if you're there, we'll look for you there. Other than that, keep an eye on community and, uh, you know, socials and yeah, when we plan something, we'll definitely get it put out there for sure. So 2024 is going to be awesome. And we're going to crush it. And uh, can't wait for you guys to come along with us. And we are going to keep the pace up, man. We are going to try to pump out a video every week for you guys. Um, and we're just going to keep trying to do better and better. Uh, hopefully, like this IT, I know this video, second video has been taking a while. Uh, guys, it's just some growing pains. We got to learn filming schedules and how to fit things in here and do this there and all that sort of stuff. But we try to keep it fun for you. So, you know, hopefully it's working. Um, yeah, so we're super excited to go into 2024. Uh, really excited coming off of 2023. Uh, it's been a great year. Uh, let's see here. Any other last minute? Bunch of people are, since you guys are wearing the same thing and they want to know who's oh next. so yeah dan i got this shirt and i loved it it's from true work uh, actually I, i'm like all true worked up i got the beanie on the night uh, i got the pants on they're really comfortable the shirt on too, the t-shirt. i do have the t-shirt on 
I'm like a walking true work action figure. Their stuff's really nice though, and it's comfortable. And I was telling Dan how much I really liked it, and then he went out and got the same shirt, and then he wore it today. What can I say? But if you would like some great quality work gear, uh, especially if you're a dude that works outside like, like we do sometimes, um, they have like great cold weather gear, jackets, hoodies, pants, insulated stuff, beanies, like really top notch gear. Check it out. True work. I believe it's truework.com. Work is spelled W E R K. True work. Um, yeah. Other, other than that, what's that bud? I, I said you were right on the true work. True work. All right, cool. Uh, anything else? Hey, her like the channel. Bikes and beards were your unboxing and hire it, so it inspired me. I love seeing the emails that we are inspiring you guys to do stuff. And that's like our main goal. Our, 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 our mission statement is to inspire, educate, and entertain. And I use educate loosely because we're a bunch of knuckleheads. But I love it when I hear you guys sending me emails and you're like, man, you inspired me to dig that bike out of the garage or to do this or to do that. Man, that's what it's all about. Just get out there and try something. Do something different. Do something new. Don't be afraid to get started. You can't really screw things up that bad, right? Um, so, yeah, thank you for letting me know that. I really appreciate that. Um, it you looks... Manuals, even digital. Uh, so that's a good question. Um, there's a couple sites. You got to be really, really careful if you're doing digital manuals. There's a lot of um, virusy stuff out there. Um, Scribed was one I, I got a bunch of manuals off of. Uh, I'm trying to think uh, what the other one was. I don't remember off the top of my head. I just start Googling and I see what pops up. Um, but like I said, you gotta be careful because there is a bunch of spammy, virusy stuff when you're searching for uh, especially free online manuals. Um, but that's a good point, man. Uh, like for me, it's, it's tough because I, and I do like, it sounds silly, but I kind of collect manuals. I like manuals. Um, but if you're just, uh, you know, a guy in the garage uh, that has a bike and you just want to do some work on it and stuff, just, it doesn't matter. Just buy a manual for that bike. Uh, a little tougher when you have a shop like this and, and, you know, you need manuals for everything. Um, but if you want to do any sort of in-depth work on your bike or whatever, just go buy the manual. Um, they're they're worth their weight in gold. Shift, shift. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Used parts houses a kickstart. I don't know what that means. Give those used parts houses a kickstart. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Check check used parts. Always. Um. I'm just seeing here, if I'm going to sell my bike because the tire pressure is low. Uh, email me, Matthew, I might be interested. It's gotta be cheap though, because that's a tough fix. All right. What's the favorite sticker on your toolbox and why? Oh, dude, that's a great question. That's, that's a tough question. You know, I like this one because that was my decal. That was my logo for my shop and my friend designed that logo and I really like it. Um, I like this one because my wife's name is Stacy. So I like that one. I also like this one because Hobby Horse Farmers Rock. I mean, come on, right? And I, what other one? I like this one. And that was from uh, our, our rally team uh, in the 2019 Baja XL rally. Again, my buddy designed that and I really like that. And eat, sleep and go fishing because, you know, it's what you do. So I don't have a favorite. Those are a couple of my favorites. My real favorites, so what I did is 
a few years ago, I started a board that hangs up over here on the wall. And I put all my special stuff up there. So kind of everything up here has has meeting. It's an event I've, I've done, like, you know, that was when I raced Vintage Days. And, you know, another one from the rally. I did the Gambler. Uh, there's a sticker I got from Wheels Through Time when I was down there. Different teams I rallied with. Um, Biden sucks sticker. I feel like you need that. Aviator Paramotor. That's a buddy of mine out of Florida that flies paramotors and has a paramotor school. If you ever want to get into flying motors, um, definitely check out Aviator PPG down in Florida. They are by far the best school out there in the country, in my opinion. And they're my boys, because last uh, we won the under 10 champs this year. So this is my wall of kind of memorabilia for me. We will be making, there's just people asking, we will be making international shipping available. We will work on it as soon as the stream is over. Okay, yeah, if international shipping is not working for whatever reason, um, how can they reach out? I mean, they can just email us through um, the real night, the real shipping tank. Yeah, I guess you can if you're if you're international and you're trying to get the free shipping. Excuse me, uh, and it's not working. Shoot me an email, the real bearded mechanic at gmail.com. We'll get it sorted. We will work at it too right after the live. So if uh, you know, again, and we have till 9 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow morning. Um, to get things working, but we do want to take care of you guys. We will make sure it's working. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, but get those orders in and we'll be shipping everything tomorrow morning. Okay. Somebody wants to know what the 47 Jersey is from. That was our number in the Baja XL rally. Repeat the question. Oh, somebody asked what the 47 poster's from. PK. Uh, that was our, that was actually on the side of our car. That was our number for the rally. So when we were done, I peeled it off the side of the car and brought it home with me. So that's what that was. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to wrap this up because our phone's going to die and it's time to get going. Uh, international shipping, we will work on that. We will get that working for you guys. And again, it is free shipping on shirts until 9 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow morning. Uh, thank you so much for a big 2023. Really appreciate you guys. Uh, can't say that enough. Thank you so much. Looking forward to an awesome 2024. Um, I got big plans. I'm going to probably buy Dan another shirt or two so he doesn't dress like me anymore. Thanks for watching, guys. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy New Year. All that good stuff. Merry Christmas. See you guys later.